Welcome to the report from Tiger Mountain, ladies and gentlemen. It could be goodbye, Daniel Andrews. That's going to be the topic of tonight's report. Stick around. Goodbye, Dad. Well, ladies and gentlemen, all this week there's been rumours floating around uh, the top of Spring Street that uh, Daniel Andrews could be on the ouster. So uh, I'm going to actually conduct this report as if he has been given the ask, ladies and gentlemen. So let's discuss it. Is Daniel Andrews gone? Well, you know, obviously I think to everybody in the freedom movement will be relieved because there hasn't been a, a state premier in Australia who has been uh, more a stickler for the COVID rules, who is a bigger pain in the ass and who has kind of been an enemy of the new right. But, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, you've got to admit it. I'm going to miss him. I mean, I think it's important to have somebody you dislike in life. And I think everybody in Victoria has been blessed the last 10 years with Daniel Andrews as our premier because we've had someone to hate. You know what I mean? The Herald Sun's going to go broke. It's going to be like when Trump left office in the United States, all the newspapers got circulation's going to go through the floor. The Herald Sun's not going to sell 10 copies without Daniel Andrews around. I mean, you know, I mean, to some extent... Daniel Andrews uh, was a really interesting hate figure, and, and in a sense, sometimes you, you miss that. I mean, you know, th this woman is he's, he's going to replace him. She seems pretty boring. You know, I mean, obviously, she's not going to have the close connections to the Chinese Communist Party that Dan had, which is obviously going to be a good thing, but it's kind of going to be a bit dull. You know, I mean, uh, I have to admit, I'm going to miss him a little bit. And did, was, was, you know, did everything Daniel Andrews do, was that to every single thing he did was terrible? Um... Maybe not. I mean, I mean, you know, he was a bit of a builder. I mean, obviously, we all know he spent far too much on building, and Victoria is going to be in debt for the next two thousand years. Um, you know, <laughs> paying for all the building he's done in the last ten years. But like, he did. He was a builder, like a Roman emperor, and to some extent, that's impressive. Um, there is a kind of where, near where I live, they're building this tunnel that goes. Uh, well, I don't know what the name of it, um, but uh, North East, North East Link. The Northeast Link. There you go. They're building a Northeast Link, and um, you know it's basically uh, they've been working on it for about the last ten years in my area. Um, it looks like they're building a new Tuller Marine out there. I mean, it's, it, it's like about hundred cranes and and about five thousand people are working on this project. It seems maybe less, but that's what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. And they're building, I think, about a two or three kilometer tunnel over to Bulleen. And uh, it's extraordinary. As far as I can tell, the actual tunnel itself hasn't begun to be built yet, but like they've built all everything, all the preparation, all the leveling of the ground. They've put in special uh, infrastructure, special electricity. They're building these giant vats. God knows what they're putting in it. You know, they could be doing anything, but obviously whatever they need to build this tunnel is what they're building. So, you know, it's interesting. And Daniel Andrews was behind that. I mean, obviously once it's built, it probably will be convenient for the area because you'll be able to just scoot on over to Berlin from here under, under a tunnel, take two minutes. But like, um, you know, I don't know. I mean, you know, so there's something about Dan Andrews. Uh, you know, I saw this post on his page recently where he was growing marijuana, you know, obviously for some medical marijuana thing. But, he, you know, it made me think that's his, definitely his best post. So, I mean, obviously we didn't like Daniel Andrews, but, you know, there was something about him that, um, you know, did you know, gain your attention, both as a hate figure, somebody you could hate, and look, you've got to, you've got to admit, from, from the perspective of woke, from the perspective of, you know, I guess the direction the Labor Party has been moving in, um, he was a pretty good leader for that kind of politics. Obviously, that's not my kind of politics, or the politics of uh, the people here on Report from Tiger Mountain, but if you do like that kind of politics, Daniel Andrews was a pretty decent leader for that kind of thing. You know what I mean? Um, you know, he's, he's going to leave the state of Victoria in, in debt for the next 2,000 years. Obviously, that's a slight exaggeration, but, you know, for a long time. And obviously, we've had other resigning uh, people of late. Uh, Brett Sutton, who was sort of, you know, the Mr. T Mr. Number Two, uh, um, Number Two during the pandemic to Dan Andrews, so he's resigned and obviously Mark McGowan has resigned over uh, in Western Australia under a bit of a cloud, but we'll talk about that on another report perhaps, and um, so, you know, there we are, we could be saying goodbye to Dictator Dan, obviously most of us here on the Freedom Movement, we're glad, good riddance, but you know, it's with a slight pang in our hearts that we say goodbye to Dan, because he was a hate figure that we all sort of enjoyed hating on and also because, you know, like any major figure, you know, life is always a little different when they're not around. That's the report from Tiger Mountain for this week.